Seduced by the challenge of an impossible case, the driven doctor, Carl Jung, takes the unbalanced Sabina as his patient. Jung's weapon is the method of his master, Freud, but soon both men fall under Sabina's spell. Hi friends and drama nerds. In today's drama we have the film, titled, A Dangerous Method. Begins with a demonstration of a young girl, accompanied by an officer because she is being taken to a clinic where Dr. Jung will treat her, but Sabina is sure that she is not sick. The doctor then suggests that he examine her daily and that's it. He will be sitting in the back and under no circumstances should she turn around and to answer his questions. She also needs to understand what the causes of her nervous breakdowns are hidden in. Sabina is sure that it is because of any humiliation that seizures are provoked. After which she abruptly falls silent, kind of like getting suffocated. The doctor notices this and asks what she was thinking, but Sabine doesn't know. Then Young asks a couple of leading questions, learning that this is an image of her father's hand who used to bit her including her siblings. A little later at lunch she tells his wife that he is going to use an experimental technique that no one has used yet. It's a kind of talking treatment as his wife mentions. Next scene he continues the treatment while they both are walking, during which he says that he will have to leave for some times away. This makes Sabina angry. Exasperated Sabine throws her overcoat away, Young lifts it, and followed by shaking the dust using his walking stick. By this, a nerve attack hits Sabina again. Back at the clinic, Sabina decides to play with the food which the nurse notices and passes everything to Professor Blimber. However, when he entered the ward Sabina disappeared somewhere, but was quickly found in a nearby pond where the nurses immediately pull Sabina away to clean her of dirts. A couple of days later, Young returns to the clinic and he already knows about what happened. According to the rules of the clinic patients should somehow help the staff and Young offers her to become his assistant. Since Sabina loves medicine, she is very happy already. The day they are conducting the first treatment Young is asking questions and Sabina is watching the bright spot. One way or another it is necessary to continue their treatment, which causing another attack, because of the story she remembers. Two years later they visit Freud with whom they discuss the results of psychoanalysis. The key topic is Sabina, where Jung speaks to Freud about how she gets excited sexually when her nervous attack happens, and whenever she get upset she has to give it out of herself by playing alone, if you get what I mean. Freud suggests the Soviet method where the doctor approaches to their patients. He also mentions that Thea research is not particularly liked by the other medical community, and even after a hundred years their methods will be rejected. The next day Young is mad somehow with Freud ideas, as he speaks to Sabina. He warns Sabina about Professor Freud, infusing to be careful, his every word literally suppresses the ideas of the morality, and all his followers are completely faceless, and he is very persuasive. Sabina thinks maybe Freud is right in her case, but Young doesn't believe in this dirty treatment method. Young is unaware of Freud who had sent a special guest to their clinic, named Otto, who should do everything to slow down his research and to convince him to take Freud treatment method. Therefore he begins to introduce this idea of vulgarity towards patients into Young's head. The next day Sabina speaks about the method that Young is afraid to dig in, and says, when she was brought in the clinic as a patient, in fact her sickness was sexual problem. As Young doesn't take her seriously she decides to give him a kiss with the addition of the address of her room, of course if he stopped being a nice doctor. Otto was pushing his idea more and more aggressively. All these conversations lead him to think that Otto may be able to convince him of the new principles. Otto escapes from the clinic leaving a farewell letter after which Young violates his principles and finally breaks his roles. The next day, he continues his normal life where his wife has prepared a boat he always wanted as a gift for him, and thanks him for being a good man. His wife is very rich financially by the way. Because of this Young visits Sabina to put an end to their relationship, but events are moving in a different direction in which they both go to sailboat instead. Freud also regrets the fact that he sent Otto to him, but Jung is glad that he did send him. Freud reminds him that they should only work in one area which is scientific confines. Any telekinesis and superstitious research is unacceptable. When suddenly the shelf cracks, Jung declares that he felt that was going to happen. He goes on and explains that this is a phenomenon of catalytic externalization, and he is sure that in a minute it will repeat itself, and surprisingly it happens, but Freud asks him to understand that this is a common nonsense sense which he exactly was talking about. The point that Freud is trying to make is that they have to stick to scientific proof to what they are doing with their patients because of their rivals and enemies. After returning home a new day comes, Jung and Freud decide to take a boat ride, where Freud hints that there are rumors about Sabina having a relationship with Jung, but Jung denies everything. He talks about this with Sabina which is why he will have to leave, plus, because of his sickness to be treated. At lunch, his wife asks if Chief Floller has mentioned anything about some bunch of anonymous letters that somebody has sent to Sabina 
Sabina's mother regarding their affair or her treatment. Young immediately calls Sabina because of her mother and the anonymous letters, after which he promised to her mother that he would see Sabina only within the walls of this office as a patient but not as a friend and such. Sabina is not happy about this but Young is determined. In an evening Sabina writes a letter to Freud. Freud writes to Young about what was in Sabina's letter to make sure those are true. Young assures him that the kindness he showed to Sabina has turned into revenge and he will be glad if Freud takes his side. A couple of days later Freud writes back to Sabina whom he assures that his colleague is not capable of such actions. He asks her to forget about the doctor and any further treatment. This makes Sabina deeply upset. She visits Young in his office and demands to know why he hasn't told the truth about their relationship to Freud and threatens him to write to Freud again and tell the whole truth. Upon asking why it's so important to her that Freud has to know their story, she says she wants Freud to take her as his patient. Three days later Freud receives another letter from Young with all the confessions, but still he rejects Sabina, and the doctors and friends get on a ship to go to America together. Towards night, Young talks about his dream in which, while inspecting luggage, he noticed a man in an old imperial uniform, but then another passenger told him that there was no one there, maybe he saw a ghost. Freud thinks maybe he was him. This means only one thing. Their consciousness is somehow connected with each other, as for example, they used to exchange ideas without any doubt, now everything is completely different, after which Freud already declares that he also had a dream but he will not talk about it so as not to drop his authority. After a while the ship arrives in America, and while Young is sure that the future awaits them, Freud on the contrary calls it a plague. Switzerland September 25 th 1910 Sabina comes to Young as she has prepared a dissertation, a topic that Young simply needs for his book. He also adds that when he left the clinic he thought that everything would be left behind, but now there is simply no end of clients that he will be able to find time for her dissertation. Sabina wants only one thing, and that would be working together. Young is well aware that this is a huge risk, but he is confident that they will be able to cope with it. About the next Tuesday at the same time, they talk about everything and all the guesses that follow from this, which completely destroy Freud's theory at the subsequent training. After a while Sabina finishes her studies and receives a diploma and wants to leave the country. It remains to find out where she wants to go, but during this time Young has completely changed and begs her not to go anywhere. Two years later on April 17 th 1912, Freud discusses Sabina's work, which is being promoted in all communities and even he begins to suspect that it is not unfounded. However, he is shocked by the mention of God and religious stuff as another tool for their patients. Freud is fully against Sabina on this one, as it goes beyond the scope of medical practice. He adds that Professor Young could not succeed him because of this, and he also adds, how can you be a doctor when your head is full of cheap mysticism and to replace one delusion with another? He also has business with her, an offer, in which he asks her to take some of his patients. A few days later, a business meeting begins, at which Freud becomes too ill and faints. The same evening Young sends a letter in which he writes everything he thinks about Freud, as if Freud decided to imagine himself as God. And Freud immediately sends an answer, or he denies everything, putting an end to their so-called friendship. On July 16 th 1913, Sabina visits Young family by the time who Young had completely drawn into himself and did not accept new visitors. Because of this, Emma, his wife asks Sabina to help him. At a personal meeting, Young assures her that Freud's methods are dead end, and she needs to find a way out, so patients can find themselves. Plus, he talks about his love for Sabina and how much she means in his life, which made him a better person, and the child she is carrying is his child. The film's footnote reveals the eventual fates of the four analysts. Otto, starved to death in Berlin in 1920. Freud died of cancer in London in 1939 after being driven out of Vienna by the Nazis. Sabina trained a number of analysts in the Soviet Union before she and her two daughters were shot by the Nazis in 1942. Young emerged from a nervous breakdown to become the world's leading psychologist before dying in 1961.